Hey guys, it's Positive Benzo Withdrawal, and I'm sitting here with my knitting. My knitting project has taken a long time. This was supposed to be ready for St. Patrick's Day, and that was over two weeks ago. Um, but that's okay, because I'm also knitting myself a blanket, which I'm really excited about. I love my blanket. Um, but I thought I would, I know I made a video a couple days ago. I just kind of, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm not working. I thought I would maybe do a video to kind of chart some of this major wave that I'm in and report kind of how I'm doing every few days. Um, as much for you, the audience, as for me to look back on later. So I'm thinking of this as like my Benzo archive um, because I do believe there is a future <laughs> and this is in my past. All right, my mind's a little like meh meh right now. Um, anyway, I think this is the most I've talked all day, to be honest with you. Um, well, I was with my kid earlier, and then I dropped him off um, at the BART train, which is the subway here in the Bay Area. And um, so I did talk with him a little bit, although I was really scattered and not quite like able to keep up with him. He's a teenager, and he's always been a big talker. He's just like, and you know that thing, and that thing, and that thing. And I, I've never really been able to follow because I'm a girl and he's a boy and we just don't really have a lot of the things, same things in common, although I love him dearly. Um, so other than that, I've been, um, it's been a hard day. It's been a hard day. My, so my kind of like baseline right now is just fatigue, like really intense, crushing fatigue, pretty crushing, like down, down mood. I would say like um, I don't want to call it depression because I feel like this is a chemical depression that has a little bit of a different feel to it but pretty much cry several times every day a lot of things make me cry I feel like I did when I was pregnant like everything makes me cry like positive things make me cry I just watched a really great video of um, I don't know her name but I subscribed to her channel and it was really good. And I just bawled. She was crying through the whole thing. I cried through the whole thing. She's like a benzo survivor. Um, I started reading um, Dr. Joe Dispenza's book, You Are the Placebo. And so here's my, here's my thing. After I made that video a couple days ago and I realized, like, I don't have anything positive to say, I thought, you know what? Screw that. Big 180. I'm going to start getting on. Oh, my cat. Just. <laughs> oh. It's okay, you're just old and poor old cat. He tried, tried to jump and he fell. Okay, you can try it again. Come on, Alistair. I feel like everybody has a cat in their video. It's not a real video if you don't have a cat. Okay, so. Whew, I'm looking like a mess today. Let's cover all this up. No makeup. What was I saying? Okay, so back to my topic, which was the positive. Um... Yeah, so I'm I'm just kind of done. I'm done with the negative Nellies. I started a Facebook group, which is which is great. I'm really digging it. The ladies on there. Um, it's called Women Healing Together, and I have this channel. And um, nope, you're not jumping up here. Don't want those big claws on me. Um, but other than that, um, I've just kind of fallen off my positive track, and. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to change that and I'm going to make a big adjustment. So I decided not to go on. I was like really into the Facebook support groups for a while and I've just decided to um to stop that. Like stop looking at everybody else's stuff. Stop taking on other people's energy. Stop you know, like comparing yourself to other people or asking all these questions, which nobody has any answers to. It's just opinions. He is really aggressive. It's a black cat, look. Can you see my black kitty cat? That's Alistair. He is so aggressive. He's not gonna take no for an answer. You have to like push him away on this chair. Go. Because he's got really long claws. Um. So I don't want to take on other people's stuff. I've asked, you know, all these questions about my taper. Should I, you know, I've been in a wave for two months and I've been holding. So I say, you know, should I keep holding? Some people are like, hold, hold, just hold. Some people are like, jump. Some people are like, cut. So, and everybody has an opinion. Everybody has an opinion, but nobody walks through my 
journey. Nobody is in my body. Nobody else has to go through what I go through. So ultimately it's up to me and it's up to my, what I call my higher power. Some people might call God. Some people might call science. Some people might call GABA. It's up to me and my GABA um, and my higher power what I'm gonna do right now. And so I've decided to just let go of all the other people's opinions and do my own thing. Um, and what that means is kind of taking on some different, maybe radical viewpoints. So I got Dr. Joe Dispenza's book, You Are the Placebo. Here he comes, looking for the chicken in the soup. Nope. <laughs> um, and I started reading You Are the Placebo. So this guy is incredible. If you haven't checked out Joe Dispenza, you should. Just if you're looking for a distraction and you're geeky, and I'm super geeky into science. Um, but he is like this miracle dude who was in a really horrible accident and a bunch of vertebrae broke. He was hit by a car and a bunch of his vertebrae broke and he using his, oh my God, <laughs> sorry. So aggressive, dude, I said no. I hope you're really entertained by this video. <laughs> I said no. Yeah, you got the message. He's like, whoo, okay, score movie over here with this cat. Anyway, he was able to heal his body with his mind. All right, get the book. You are the placebo. I got it on Kindle. Um, because I can I can just like be on my phone and be distracted. Why not read a cool book? And so what he did was like two hours twice a day, he imagined his vertebrae healing. And this was, he was told by his doctors, by his team, by tons of specialists, like you have to get this one surgery. And if you get it, the chances of you walking are greater, but they're not 100% that you're really going to, you know, be fine. Like you might still be disabled. And he was like, screw that. And he was 23 and he was into metaphysics, I guess. And he just imagined his vertebrae healing like every day. Imagine his vertebrae healing. And it's just really great the way he describes it. Um, and he did. Like in nine weeks, he got up and he just like walked out. And he's fine. 30 years later, he's great. He's never even had back pain, he says. So I'm like, all right, you know, I'm a pretty tenacious woman. I, <laughs> I haven't heard of anyone curing themselves of benzo withdrawal or upregulating their GABA using that technique, but it doesn't mean it can't work, especially if I have this strong belief system, which I do. Um, and I thought, what the hell else am I going to do? I'm at home. I'm, I'm not at work. I'm in my pajamas all day. Um, I have these crazy waves that come through me like, it's like, I don't know if anyone out there has ever done psychedelics. Um, I have to say this is very close to an ayahuasca journey. So don't do ayahuasca if you ever want to feel benzo withdrawal again, like after you're done with drawing. It's very similar. It's a strong body sensation of just this like wave coming over my body with the burning and so intense and even in an ayahuasca journey you can feel like that and then they have these buckets everywhere because part of the medicine journey is that you throw up you purge or la purja and it's supposed to like bring up all these toxins and I feel like that I feel like during these waves where I'm just like oh you know just excuse my um, graphics um and it, and it feels almost like the same thing where I have to surrender to it because when I've done the several medicine journeys I've done back in the day, um, that's all you can do. You can just, all you can do is breathe and surrender because it's so intense. And of course, with a medicine journey, why would you put yourself through all that hell, but you're actually like getting some massive benefit from it on the other side of the whole thing. You feel amazing like for a long time. But um, so... While I'm sitting here at home, why not start to fortify my mind with some really cool stuff like Dr. D Dr. Joe Dispenza and all the stuff around quantum physics? Like, what is up with that quantum physics stuff? We don't really talk that much about it. Um, we talk about other kinds of science, hard science. We have the psychiatrists, they have their science. The psychopharmacologists, they have their science. What about quantum physics, you know? Maybe I should get into that. 
Anyway, this is going on almost 10 minutes. It's been an all over the place video. I hope a couple people watch it and maybe you're knitting while you're watching this. Maybe you're crying while you're watching this. Maybe you're in the bathtub. Hopefully your phone is on the side. Um, maybe you're driving while you're watching this. Um, I don't know, maybe you're ordering a book online while you're watching this. These are all things that I do when I watch videos. I I use it as a distraction tool. So hopefully this distracted you for a few minutes. And it looks like um, the black cat just went and attacked the other cat and is giving him a bath. Good, I'm glad you have something to do. All right, you guys, all the best. Keep strong, man, and just keep going. All right, later.